This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, Voldemort right back here with another episode of Lord Croft, Rise of the Tomb Raider. In the last episode, we were chasing after Jonah and... Well, I was checking around for stuff since we found a fire and I thought, well, I, I want to show, like, uh, a couple of things I found off screen. Uh, one, I was, I was questioning why I was missing a couple of survival caches in here, and apparently I missed the Explorer's Pack in this place. So if you uh, go into the water here, uh, this is where... Uh, you know, it was that little platforming puzzle right there. I don't know if you remember that. But there was actually a place you could go down and swim into. And I don't know how I missed that. I just did. And Anyway, the Explorer's Pack is right up here. I already grabbed it, but I thought I'd show that off screen just to kind of, for those who might not know where that is. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, there's a... Um, okay. And then I'll show you that document I missed before in that previous area before. Which will complete that, because... Okay, so with that, with the survival cache is completed, we've now... I've now completely, uh... Whoops. Hold on. Sorry about that. Come on. We've, uh, almost completed completely. The only thing we're missing is the... Is the mission to, uh, find all nine tombs, which we'll get eventually just from playing. Uh, one of the last areas in the game ha has the tomb, so we'll get that. Um... Oh, when I finished the other... I finished that mission with chickens. Apparently, during the course of the game, when certain plot points happen, time of the day changes. And if the time of the day is day, then the chickens pop out from the little village here. And you can capture the five chickens rather easily at that point. And, uh... And finish that challenge. So, well, there you go. Okay, so let's find that document. And the, and the sad thing about the document that I'm missing, it was, like, right under my nose. Uh when I went to the next part, when, uh, when we were chasing after Jonah, or when we started chasing after Jonah, when we went to that, when we found, got the cl climber arrows, or whatever you want to call them, the bonder arrows, anyway, the, uh, the, the document for it is, like, right next to the fire, and I somehow missed it, even though I have the ability to notice documents, like, I bought the, uh, like, ability or whatever, yet it, I didn't see it when, uh, we were in the area, so I don't know what happened. I guess I just missed it. Oh, and if and if you had trouble finding it before, there was a uh, uh, art artifacts map or whatever you call it that was right there. I grabbed that off off screen too. Uh, but anyway, the document is right here, and that'll complete this map right here. So this will be a hundred percent in now. I don't know if you're reading me, Lara, but I'm going to keep trying. Something's out here. Climbed a tree to get a better view of the valley below. I can see old buildings and some activity. Looks like they got choppers, and they're bringing in all kinds of equipment. It's got to be Trinity. It's the only explanation. <sighs> Looks like they beat us at the bunch after all, huh? <sighs> I've been watching for the past few hours, taking notes of their patrols. I think I can slip by them, if I time it right. You are always better than me at this. If you're out there, and you can hear me, please, be careful. Well, Jonah's size does make it hard for him to sneak. And I'm talking about, like, he's just big, like, tall. And he's a little rotund, I'll admit, but, uh... But Laura's, like, small and gangly, you know, so... Anyway, with that out of the way, I'll just actually double verify with you that that's 100%. Can I highlight it, please? There you go, 100% for the Soviet installation. All right, now let's travel to the weather station and uh, and continue searching for Jonah. Oh yeah, I still haven't uh, done the uh, that little artifact thing at the beginning of the episode. I forgot to do that again. Oh well, you know where like two of the artifacts I currently have, I couldn't find the little secret for them because the, the game's picky about how you find it. I still haven't done that yet. I'll try to do it in the next episode if. Uh, uh, if I have, if I remember, but, uh, I guess no one guarantees, apparently. Anyway, let's, uh, go back to that little bridge. Take about a few seconds. Let's stare at some, uh, swimming Laura while we're, while we're waiting, why don't we? Alright, anyway, let's, uh, get across that bridge and continue the... Oh, whoops. Uh, let's see what else. I upgrade a couple of items, uh, try to get some furs off screen. Uh, I found the perk that gives you the uh, 
that doubles the furs you get from most stuff, and that's like the naturalist perk. Uh, natural items are doubled instead of the man-made ones, so, uh, so if you need more of those, there you go. There's anything up here. Weather station, huh? Ooh, more coins. Oh, I could actually, you know what, I think I have enough money to buy that final item from the uh, shop, which if you do, you get a an achievement slash trophy for it. So I'll, I don't, won't show that off screen because I think that's unnecessary, but uh, I will do that next time just to let you know. Uh, I forgot what the, I think it was a rifle or something like that. Ooh, let me get an artifact here. Nice. A pendant. No, a modern reliquary. There's a small human bone inside. Ew. I assume the hidden element is fine is is come on it's the bone I know it's the bone come on come on dude game you know which one it is that I'm trying to look at okay seriously it's the bone I know that's the secret you want to know what the hell game Seriously, just let me be in the vicinity, or let me just focus on it in general and unlock it. No, don't. Maybe it's the front. Okay, maybe we're wrong. Maybe it's the front of the thing. We need to, we need to notice. It's. I don't like the angle this is on. You know what I mean? Because you can't. You can't get the pendant right. So I assume it's because the pendant needs to show something on Saint that. There Peregrine. we go. Peregrine. Patron of the terminally ill. Well, that took forever and a day. Not worth it, game. And yet here I am trying to work my way towards it. Ooh, another document. We stand now on the very cusp of a new world. The divine source has been located. Croft, while still alive, has been effectively neutralized. But Anna grows weaker by the hour. Her voice voice I've known my whole life is starting to falter. I asked her if she remembers that night, the first night that God carved purpose into my hands, the night that he chose me. She said she did. And then she smiled and said that we would have nights again like that once this ordeal is over. For her, I stay strong. In the old city, we will find the divine source. I will save my sister. And together, we will save this world from itself. Now, if Laura Croft has anything to say about it, family of love. What does she know about? It? Oh, wait, she really cared about her dad. Never mind. I'm sorry, Laura. Your father was important to you, even though you're both psychotic because you laugh. Because you both won't let go of certain ideas because, you know obsession and all that oh well whatever it's not that big a deal I'm just messing I'm just messing with you Laura you know I love you baby not really <laughs> alright anything on this place alright making that completely pointless thanks game well, it was nice it was alright so we need to get up there through that Let's see I don't hear any people so we might be might be good on uh, avoiding uh, uh, um, uh, patrols and stuff like that. Ooh, another artifact. A rifle shell, but there's something unusual about this one. What? That it looks like a dog's. Uh, you, never mind. I assume it's that carving stuff on the bottom, maybe. This game really needs to like work on like details like this, like uh, like not making us like work forever and a day to get it. You know what I mean? I only do it for a few moments and then I'm gonna quit because I don't like I said I don't want to waste my whole time doing this. What's well, never been shot? See like how Latin I found the pin. engraving on the end. Kill them all. God will know his own. That's really not worth it. I really shouldn't mess with it, at least not while while I'm playing the game anyway. Let's 
see what's in here. Nothing so far. Ooh. And there's a... Is that a... Oh, another document. Man, we're just coming up Millhouse. Everything's coming up Millhouse today. I won't die in this godforsaken valley. My faith is strong. My will is strong. Even if my mind keeps wandering away. In our youth, Constantine and I in our youth, he, he was a difficult child. Always wondering, always questioning, afraid of what the future might hold. Afraid that he might never find his purpose. The night I cut those marks into his hands, the night I whispered into his ear, I made him. I saved him. He believed it to be the work of God, just as I'd hoped. Now I need him to save me. And if in the end he can't, then I'll save myself. Oh, fuck you, lady. You're the one who caused him to be all crazy like that because he thought he was chosen by God because you stabbed his hands and gave him the stigma. You gave him this fake stigmata? Oh, I don't care about you anymore. You're a bitch. <laughs> I kind of felt sorry for you, but not anymore. You lie in your bed, lady. You you just accept the fact of what you've done. Oh, I guess I need to... Okay. Well, that's a big revelation. Wouldn't have known that if we hadn't checked the documents. Now, did, would we? Ooh, another one. Got up close this time. Figured when I find you, maybe I'll have learned something that'll help. Here's what I know. There's an operation here. Something big. Hundreds of nasty-looking soldiers. No insignia, no nothing. All holed up in this old Russian facility. Looks like it was once one of those awful gulag prisons. I came down here thinking you needed me, Lara, but... Christ, how backwards is that? Before too long, I might be the one who needs rescuing. I hope the guides are still alive and can hear this. I'll stay out of sight as long as I can, but it's getting pretty damn cold out here. I'm gonna have to find some kind of shelter soon. Although, frankly, realistically, going by yourself on all these crazy stuff is kind of stupid. In a game, it makes more sense because, you know, you're, you're the player, you're playing the protagonist, so... People know jo uh, that Croft's on the loose. Why would they leave the art of the uh, the uh, the Atlas there? Yeah, whatever. All right. I feel like I'm missing something. Like uh, I'm missing um, quite a few items. Let's see what the game says. I may have to go back here later and re-explore it because I think I missed the Explorers map. Well, let's see. We got the Strongbox relics. We're missing a document. I'm missing the survival caches. Um, well, let's keep playing and then just see. I seem to be missing quite a bit of stuff lately, especially when I miss that Explorers pack in that one level. And then, uh... Uh, and then, uh... Well, and then just a bunch of other items from other areas, you know, in the game. So I don't know. Maybe it's just selective view of vision or something like that. And I'm supposed to be going fast because Jonah might be killed, but here I am trying to look for stuff because I didn't find uh, certain items or a map or whatever. Oh, well, we can always come back later. I can always show it on the screen. I just would have rather gotten it the first time, you know, in, you know. Oh, well. Negative. We're moving on to the next phase of the operation. Just... What was that? You're oh, dead. come on. Oh, well, you're dead now. I didn't think I made that much noise, but oh, well. I kind of wanted to hear it just because I wanted to know what they said, but uh, it probably wasn't anything important. Like, uh, we're just going to keep going on to the next thing. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Wait to rush it. Can I get up there? Probably not. I 
I keep thinking if I keep going, I'm gonna miss something. Oh. Hurry up, Laura. And you're dead. Convenient. Water and the fact you don't care about the cold anymore. Or adrenaline. Adrenaline is a hell of a drug. That sure would falling down give me any benefits. Yeah, let's try it out. Either way, it'll get me to the same spot. Another little explorative area, huh? Keep everything on the ready. Can I get this? No. And now that I think about it, why was that lone guy, like, all the way back there? You know what I mean? Like, he seemed pretty far away from all of his companions, and there was no easy way for him to get to back to his other friend, so... Like, what was the point of that? Yeah, that was just a shortcut. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore, will you? Ooh, there it is. I thought I was missing something. Let's see what let's see what we missed. Uh, I and I found the artifact artifactors map or whatever earlier. So, all right, there's all the survival caches, so you guys can find those on. Actually, I was missing one more of those cars for the challenge. I think I saw all of them on my way here, so there's probably one inside here somewhere, but uh, and then there's the last document, so we're good for this area. So, Alright, excellent. Save Jonah from, the, or find Jonah in the prison. I thought it said save Jonah from the prison block. I'm like, well, I don't know why a prison block you need to be saved from, but, uh, oh, there's the final document for this area anyway. Not of the game, just this place. Laura, thank God. I think I found your tracks. I knew you were alive. It would take more than a thousand tons of ice and snow to take out my little bird. There's something strange going on in the woods, and it's not Trinity. There's someone else watching me, from the trees. I had some food in my pack, old energy bars mostly, but I'm running low. I slept inside a dead log last night, and when I woke up this morning, there was a present waiting for me. Dried meat, some berries, all wrapped up in deer skin. I thought I was dreaming at first, but there's someone looking out for me here. Hope they're looking out for you too. It's probably the the children of the prophet or whatever, like Sophia and her group were were following your friend because they didn't seem to be causing trouble at least at the time. But now you're caught. You know what? I kind of wish they did it. Uh, never mind. Your loyalty to her is strong. I admire you. I do. But even my patience has limits. Tell me what you know. Now! Please, no. Don't let me to him. I was only doing what I believed was right. No! No! Sweep the cell blocks. Kill everyone. I'm sorry. I 
should have killed him. But he was unarmed, I just couldn't. Shh. You shouldn't have to. I am so sorry for getting you into this mess. <coughs> I thought I could keep up. They're coming. We're surrounded. This time I've got your back. He's dying. We don't have much time. Bar the door. I should have known something, something was going to happen to uh, Jonah. Even if he doesn't die, then you know he at least got gets taken out or whatever. Okay. All units respond. We've got to deal with her. We're almost in no. position. All right. Looks like Laura has Not a new. Not the target yet. Waiting for orders. Stay in position. Get ready. She's dangerous. Roger. All right. Looks like Laura's got one more job to do. She needs to repel the invader so uh, so our friend Jonah can survive the encounter. I know that you like to read the archaeological journals now, but I urge you that if you see anything written which is less than pleasant about me, to ignore it. There are those who simply do not understand the work I'm doing here. Perhaps they're even frightened by it, but their fear and stupidity is not my concern, and neither should it be yours. I will explain everything in good time, my darling girl. The people that were frightened, were they Trinity? You never told me. I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. They found their way to me. Now I'm going to have to deal with them. That's a lesson for the kids. Vengeance, revenge, anger. <laughs> but anyway, now that Laura has, well, found her friend Jonah, but Jonah is bleeding out and we've got to fight out Trinity. Will Laura be able to take Trinity out enough to where Jonah and the children of the prophet can get him to safety and save him? Or will everything collapse around Laura's feet? Find out next time on Laura Croft, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.